Hello everybody, welcome back to Spooktober uh, 2018. Uh, what we are going to play today is Indigar, and this is supposed to be Indigar 2, it doesn't actually say that on there, it just says Indigar. But it says this is the demo and may not the final product may not be the same. Uh, what are we doing as far as controls go? Reload. R? Shooting. Oh, there's shooting in this one. Okay. All right, so we're gonna give this game a try. Let's see whether or not there's been any changes since the last one. And uh, you should remember the last one. I'll probably put it up on the same date as this one, so you'll be able to see the differences and how far the group has gotten. Let's check it out. Uh, kidnapped, La Hacienda, same deal. I'll see you at that place in an hour. So, are we talking about the same environment or... Or what? Because it could be that it's in the same environment, they just added more to it. And maybe some of the controls are different? Let's see. Pride, I'm the best. Okay. God is on my side. Looks like the same environment. Alright, so... Oh, it's too dark. I should find a way to get to the lights. Okay, so I know this part. Assuming nothing has changed... Let's uh, be careful, because, I mean, quite frankly, things could have changed. It should be back here. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, I still have to put my face right on everything in order to get it to work. Gotcha. <clears throat> Sugar the rabbit! Or rabbit. Tricks are for kids. Uh, nothing's still working there. Nothing in here has changed. Just out of curiosity. You're not gonna follow me with your eyeballs or anything weird like that, are you? The audio is really loud. I might have to turn my stuffs down. Okay, are we still- yes. We are still hiding in the toilet? Getting the deepest of swirlies? Gotcha. that laying over. Yeah, I need to turn that down. Ooh, that is loud. Okay. Hmm. Oh. And there has been a flushing. And he's gone. Uh. Well... You know, I mean, we determined last time you couldn't necessarily find a plunger in this place, but I will keep my eyes open in case a plunger has suddenly appeared here. All right. None of these posters seem to have changed. Uh-huh. Okay, so far everything seems to be the same. Oh. Hang on, that's different. You can actually go up there now, but... Oh, and this... That lag spike is there. Um, I can't open that door. Are we still having noises? Nope. There are no noises coming from there. Aha. Letter. Okay, and... All right, letter has not changed. Can I go in this door? <clears throat> nope. And if I recall, there's nothing here, but I'm gonna keep trying all these doors in case anything has changed. Uh, let's see. We have got the upturned bed. Okay. Now, let's see. We go over here and we check out this letter. Took your fucking me uh, medals. I will not give them to you until you pay me. I think they kind of summarize that a little bit better. Okay. 
And it was fourth, second, and... <clears throat> 423. 423. 423. Gotcha. Um, okay. Uh, that has not changed. Gotcha. So we need to go back to apartment one. I am kind of curious. We can go ahead and go up here, though. What is up here? Okay, I can't do anything with that door. And that way is blocked. Okay, so maybe there'll be something to do with that last room. I don't know. God is on my side! I'm not sure. I never actually tried the front door, I don't think. Hmm. Okay, so we need apartment uh, one. It was this one, right? All right. Where's the, my medals? Or his medals, or whoever's medals. Got all three medals. Nice. And let's go check on our little bunny friend. He's still here. Okay. I'm not sure at precisely what point he moves. And uh, during my last playthrough of this, the previous version of this, you had to die a certain amount of times before you were actually going to find the crest. After going back and looking at the footage, I didn't pass over the item that I was supposed to be looking for. It simply wasn't there. Okay. Uh, so... Ugh, I can't remember. Good grief. I can't remember. Uh, fourth, se fourth, second, third. Fourth, second, third. Uh, fourth, second, third. Apply. There we go. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, things didn't change this time. Oh, there they go. Oh, it's him. Hi? You are creepy as hell. Ooh! Okay! No, 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 no! Ah! I can't get in the door! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, 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 I was stuck in the corner. I was not expecting that. That's fine. Okay. And then this time it's supposed to tell me what to do. Let's see whether or not the secondary mission has changed. Hmm. Wake up, wake up. You have to save your daughter. This building is controlled by a demon that feeds on bad energies, which always attracts people with a lot of hatred, resentment, or personal problems. The man who kidnapped your daughter offered it to a demon in exchange for eternal life. But do not despair. I leave a key in your cell. A letter with instructions so you can save it. Read that letter. Okay, now this part's different. Who are you? you s your voice sounds familiar. Are you my daughter? You should know your daughter's voice. Oh no, I'm Sugar the Rabbit. There's no time for that. Follow the instructions in the letter and be careful. So, the rabbit's talking to me. Oh my... Oh, this is different. Waha! What the hell? Uh, okay. Okay, a key for the wardrobe and a letter. Julia, to rescue your daughter, you must get seven medallions representing the seven deadly sins. When you have them all, you can open a bridge to another dimension where your daughter is. The medallions are hidden in the building, and you will have to inquire. Inquire into the life of the people who lived in this place to find them. Look for notes, images, or symbols to give you clues to find the medallions, but take care as there are rabbits patrolling the building. The key to your cell opens the wardrobe of apartment 2. Inside a wooden crank opens the trunk in apartment 9. If the rabbit catches you, it will bring you back to the cell. Don't worry, I will unlock the door for you. 
Okay, so I need to go to two and then nine. Uh, is this my door? Let me put my face on it. You guys can stay right there. Oh my god, there are so many of you. You look upset with life. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh my. Well, there's that guy. Uh. Oh my god, he's adorable! Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, but where are we? Are we like in a basement or something? Jeez, the lag is real, guys. The lag is real. Where are we? Uh. I don't know. Watch out, rabbits patrolling. Okay. Okay, we are actually in the top floor. I need to go to apartment two. So does this mean that I can- hold on, can I control my flashlight? No. How do I get around the rabbits then? Uh... Okay. The rabbits are patrolling. So what does that mean precisely? Okay. Need to get into apartment two. Are you gonna pass by this apartment two right here? Okay. My problem is I can't really hear the rabbits. Can I close doors? No, I cannot. Okay. Well, uh, I'm gonna open that. I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna get that. And then I gotta go to nine, which should be on the top, I think? Oh boy. Uh, how far are you going to go that way? Sneak into this room. Possibly. And then let you pass by again. I'm gonna barely try and look out the corner of my eye right there for him to pass back by. So that means seven different puzzles. And I'm assuming it probably gets harder each time. for him to go around the corner. There he goes. Alright. And we're off. That's assuming you are the only one. Uh, this can't be nine, actually. There's no number on that door. <gasps> Woo! -hoo! My bad! You did not see me. Uh, no. You did not see me. Alright, let's just double check. Yeah, there's no number on this door. So this is just like a, a what room? A blank room, maybe? Rabbits are patrolling. Gotcha. Ooh! Ooh! No, 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 no. You don't see nothing. What is this? I can't turn that on. Alright. can't hear any footsteps, so this is kind of peek around the corner kind of thing. Okay, you are gone. Hopefully. Uh, let's um, skirt into here. Don't really have a whole lot of places to hide besides maybe over here in this corner. And I'm just gonna barely have my flashlight where I can see out the door, maybe. I'm hoping this will keep me safe. I have no idea. 
Okay. It seems like the footsteps need to go up if you've got to go around them. Okay, is it this one? This nine? Yeah, it's this one. Now, where does the crank go? Uh, I actually don't know. Oh, did that, did that work? Yeah, okay. Nice! Okay, I've got this one. Now what happens? Um... Oh! Ow! Well, okay, so apparently at the end of each one, whenever I find it, I'm going to get caught and get sent back for the next set of instructions. I guess I have the key already. What's my next set? Can, can I has, please? Um. But I already did that. I already did that. So now what? I have a crank. Okay. I have a crank, so where does the crank go? Don't I still have the crank? I have no idea. Oh! You took away my exit, so I'm actually- oh, another door. Okay, gotcha. Confused. Color me a confused. Can, can I please? Okay. Inside the, opens the trunk and apartment nine. Basically, I'll have to do something about people's lives, so I'm assuming when I figure out my way out of here again, I will, uh. Uh. Oh, here's a door as well. Hang on, wait. Okay. Can I open this one? Yes. Oh my. Okay. This is... Oh. We're in a different location. That's a big bunny. My. Alright, so I'm assuming I've got to figure out what to do with the crank? The fuck is that bunny doing? Number 16? Okay. Wow, at that size of a bunny. Okay. I'm gonna assume you can't chase after me, bunny. I ain't saying you can't turn around and wallop me, but I don't think you can chase me. Okay. That's not a thing I can play around with. Oh, I did hear something doing footsteps. Apartment 10. A shotgun I should not re- Oh, the big guy's gone. So, I'm actually going to have to shoot at certain times. Apartment 10. Alright, uh, 13. I'm thinking I have to go down a level, yeah. Okay. 11, 10. Woo! Woo! 
Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. I don't know what I was supposed to do there. Apparently, uh, I got caught. Okay. Death scene and loading screens are just a little long. I'm just saying. I got the point. I did. No biggie. First try. It's a thing that happens. Ah. Uh, and I'm back in here. Okay. Woo! Okay. Is he really dead? I don't think so. Can I take your chainsaw by chance? Oh. That's not good. Are y'all having a discussion over people's heads? The hell? You all look worried. Really? <laughs> I didn't I didn't find a medallion. So you want your daughter, she belongs to us. You're such a miserable woman, she deserves a better mom. You'll have to kill us to take her away from us, but we warn you, we're not easy to kill. Yeah, I noticed. Appreciate the warning. Okay, so that was like... Oh my. For fuck's sake, man, I'm in here with Teletubbies. Tubbies, excuse me. Are those laughs? Okay. There was a promise made. Okay. Good fights were won. Some felt left behind. And the demagogue drafted them for. And it was not their fault. They too believed. Hopes and promises that became. Made in unity. Demo crazy? Creative common license, okay. Out of curiosity if there's anything else. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of what they have got so far for Indigar. Now, uh, I've got some good points and I've got some bad things. So, uh, first off, the good stuff. Um, the storyline makes more sense now. And if there's anything you need to know about making a horror story or a horror game, a horror movie, the storyline has got to stick. The storyline didn't stick very well in the last game because the whole story wasn't there. This one, it makes a little bit more sense. A man traded the child for immortality from a demon. Now you have to unlock the gate to the demon realm by unlocking the seven deadly sins. Um, so we'll just see how that goes. We'll watch the development of this game. Uh, my only criticism is it's very awkward taking a horror game from the way it was the first time to putting a shooting element in there. I'm not sure where that's going to go. It could turn out great. I have no idea. Uh, but... It was interesting. Since I've played the other version and the other version had this exact same beginning almost, it didn't have the scares, but I can tell you, it was still good. Uh, the bad guy starting out as the doll and being the doll the whole time makes more sense. Uh, maybe, I'm just gonna venture a guess, that maybe 
The creature with the eye is actually the guy that got immortality, though it's not immortality the way he thought he was going to get it. Uh, that could be a good twist. So, yeah, I'm going to say that was pretty good. I will see y'all next time. You have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, and you stay shiny. Bye!